Botswana's population is 2.3 million people. Nairobi's population is 4.3 million people. Botswana is bigger in land size than Kenya. Well, it's time to join our crew of Kibisu Mulanda, Jidrof Bogu and Calvin Ogola, who have just returned on a whirlwind tour of the Republic of Botswana on this first installment of a series of captivating features on this gem of South Africa. It's always interesting to prepare for an audiovisual mission out of the country. This was no different. First things first. Passports, check. Requisite jabs and attendant documentation, check. COVID-19 negative results, check. Equipment, check. Visa, no need this time. Destination, Botswana. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let us get to learn a few things about our destination, right? So, the Republic of Botswana is a landlocked country in Southern Africa. It is bordered by South Africa to the south and southeast, Namibia to the west and north, and Zimbabwe to the northeast. It is connected to Zambia across the short Zambezi river border by the famous Kazungula Bridge. Botswana covers an area of 581,730 square kilometers, slightly bigger than Kenya at 580,367 square kilometers. Now here is where it gets interesting. Very interesting, I must add. Botswana's current population is estimated at 2.3 million by the UN. 2.3 million. Did you hear that? As of Kenya, Dear Lord, we stand tall at 47.5 million, this according to the 2019 census, and heading to 53 million currently, as given by the UN figures. In other words, in just three years, Kenya has managed to almost double Botswana's population. Let's start on this safari already, right? Please, journey with us. Today, we delve into the sideshows. Our itinerary will lead us to Johannesburg, South Africa first. We will then connect to Botswana after a five-hour layover. Flight time is three hours and 50 minutes to Johannesburg. Finally. Uh, no, 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 no. Not so fast. There is a VVIP who has to take off first we will have to contend with the delayed takeoff. Let us just leave it as to what you can see. We finally take off smoothly into the beautiful Kenyan skies. Yes. A few moments into the skies and you will soon realize the beauty of this route. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and the highest single freestanding mountain in the world, standing at 19,341 feet above sea level. It is a view to marvel and everyone is busy snapping away. And that is not all. Moments later, overflying the Malawi skies, you can't help but enjoy the view of Lake Malawi. With more than 1,000 fish species, Lake Malawi has more distinct fish species than any other lake in the world. Three and a half hours later, and it is time to land at the Oliver Tambo International Airport. It is a roller coaster of activities. First, navigating the expansive airport. Catching up on work. The five hours seem like a few minutes. And within no time, we are airborne again. In this small, almost medieval times craft, 
It'll take us 50 minutes. And finally, Touchdown Botswana. Gaborone is the capital city of Botswana. It is estimated that about 11.6% of the country's population reside here. That roughly translates to slightly over 260,000 people. Let us draw up some comparison here as well. Nairobi City's population is given at 4.397 million almost twice the population of Botswana. Wait a minute, what exactly is going on here? Why are there so many people jogging around here? Well, we will have the answers soon. Botswana has just been hit hard by a new COVID-19 wave. There is a curfew imposed at 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. to work from home arrangement highly encouraged and a total ban on alcohol. The Botswana are thus finding ways and means to cope. Believe me, it is rush hour here. Mombasa Road people, can you relate? So, it is our first time in Botswana. All of us. A few culture shocks. Here, people religiously observe the traffic lights. I may be judging this too early, but I will be on the lookout from now as we journey the country. There isn't much of high-rise buildings. Then there is respect for pedestrians. All these surprisingly come naturally here. It is now getting dark. We can't see much of the city today and we must respect the curfew. Gaboron has such a rich history. It is named after Chief Gaboron of the Tlokwa tribe who once controlled land nearby. I promise we will turn this city upside down for you. We, however, save that for later. Next week, we start on a 2,500 kilometer journey along the famous Trans-Kalahari Highway into the Kalahari Desert. Our first stop, the expansive Glagadi District.